Hello, everyone, and welcome to the Interfex IPS Aseptic Virtual Technical Tour. My name is Rob Roy, the Director of Aseptic Technology from IPS, and I will be your virtual tour moderator today. IPS is a professional services EPCMV organization, but we really do believe in the power of collaboration for the execution of successful projects. We pride ourselves in seeking out and establishing relationships with the supply chain. Technologies tours are a great example of this. Although we could not be together in person at Interfex this year, we are happy to bring the technologies tours to you virtually, still offering the opportunity to learn about the latest trends and technology in the industry. Today, we'll have a virtual tour of five suppliers in the aseptic field for this presentation. Our vendor representatives today will be Pietro Bolsi from Comissaire, calling it from Italy, Michael Hennessy from the Process Group, who's calling it from Ireland, Les Edwards from Scan, James Drinkwater from Franzil, and Joe Hoff from AST. I will introduce each one and they will do a presentation of their products and when complete, I will transition to the next presenter. We will share important links in the reference section of this virtual tour during the broadcast to allow you to access additional product and company information. Let us begin by introducing our first presenter, Sir Pietro Bossi, Sales Manager for the US and Iberian countries for Comacere. Welcome Pietro, please begin. Hello. Hello to everybody. Um, my name is Peter Bozzi and I'm a sales manager for Commissaire Pharma Division for North America and South America. And today I'm going to talk about challenges and insight of a septic filling system for combination product. Purely combination product is a new topic that is gaining a growing interest in the pharmaceutical field uh, since it's representing a new trend of drug delivery, providing uh, an enhanced quality of the medication and a better safety uh, for patient. For uh, those who are not familiar with the topic, combination products are a product composed of any combination of a drug and device, a biological product and a device, a drug and a biological product, or a drug device and a biological product. Example of um, a combination product that does include uh, pre-fills, syringes, pen injectors, out injectors, key inhalers, transdermal pumps, large volume parenterals, and kits containing drug administration device. However, from this list that I just mentioned, I'm going to just focus on the ready-to-mix uh, type, and in particular to the B component uh, ready-to-mix combination product. Why combination products are important? Uh, because uh, in some way they are improving quality of life and I can quickly try to uh, explain you how. So uh, combination products contain drugs that can be in powder or liquid form uh, and separate from diluent. They are ready to use and they are ready when it's needed. Uh, it's uh, fast in the reconstitution times. There is no toning and no delay in therapies and they're improving patient care. At the same time, uh, combination products are standardized products uh, that uh, generate a reduction in uh, uh, medication error, contamination related to admixing, and uh, as a standardized product, it saves preparation time and decreases uh, generated waste. Combination products are also cost-efficient cost uh, compared to in-house mixing and outsourced compounding. Of course, the expenditure costs are higher. However, at the same time, there is advantages uh, related to single product code management, uh, simplified inventory uh, management, and simplified dose traceability. It requires less uh, uh, staff training. And since the product are, is stable at room temperature, there's uh, less logistic and storage uh, to, 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 to be held. Also, uh, if the, the, the drug is uh, uh, considered the liquid state, uh, that's uh, uh, actually the, the, the chance to eliminate the lyophilization step in the manufacturing process. Last but not least, uh, the drug container are providing a close protection for potential application of hazardous uh, drug uh, without, with uh, enhanced operator uh, safety. So the, the commissaire approach, uh, and what makes a uh, commissaire an expert in combination product? First of all, uh, sure, a long and trusted experience uh, in the accepted processing is always 
a nice point uh, uh, to start. Uh, those uh, uh, thus, uh, Commissar and ATS uh, are able, with the, their joint forces, are able to bring on the table in-house expertise uh, in uh, automation and technologies applied to life science, uh, flexibility for innovation, and the reliance of standardized solutions to maintain safety and quality. More uh, in details, uh, we start to take advantage uh, from our know-how in modular isolator technology, so the ability to develop uh, modular uh, aseptic isolator uh, to be combined in, in complex uh, custom line or to be replicated uh, for a fast scale out. Uh, the know how in API processing, both of sterile API with the ability to handle complex and custom projects in a septic environment, and at the same time, uh, to provide proper containment for uh, operator safety when it needed for high potent API. Also, we took advantage uh, of uh, fill finishing uh, know-how, both uh, in a conventional format, uh, so vial syringes and cartridges, and uh, not conventional format, so uh, EV bags and uh, in general, uh, flexible containers. We uh, mixed up this uh, uh, know-how to reach uh, a solution uh, that uh, we call a septic ready-to-mix isolator that uh, in a single uh, solution is able to integrate uh, automation needed for uh, handling, filling, uh, and assembly of a drug packages container, uh, a septic grade A environment for enhanced drug sterility, and uh, uh, containment performances for operator safety. Together with uh, uh, this solution, of course, the, the, the one of the main advantages is the, uh, that an integrated system is also able to helping in a product traceability with the ability to assign uh, an inline uh, code tracing uh, together with variable data necessary to prevent medication error in product selection. Let's just uh, take a, a better look uh, on two cases uh, from uh, paper to, to, to sell still. The first one is a small batch platform uh, for a clinical trial, so to be used for clinical trial and small production of dry powder in others. Uh, the, the line the equipment is made of a modular aseptic isolator for use of high grade day environment and uh, uh, with the modular powder filling uh, so to fill uh, dry powder denialers in this case or any other type of uh, rigid uh, container. At the same time we develop uh, liquid filling modules that could be available on uh, the same footprint uh, and we can with, with, with these actual modules. An effect device system with two cooperative robots is taking care of all the device handling ceiling and uh, leveraging on the robot flexibility with few changeover parts, it's also possible to change the container type. Uh, and at the same time, the same automatic uh, system is also able to handle a uh, flexible container. The device uh, are loaded through, uh, into the isolator to a uh, fast VHP transfer chamber. Uh, together with the assembly component, and then the robots uh, are doing uh, all the rest. The other features that are, take, are making part of the uh, of the product are a nitrogen platinum system, uh, an EPC check rigging on 100% of the units, and uh, an inline assembly check. Then, since uh, uh, it's uh, half containment, is a high point product. Uh, there is also the wash and place and in place uh, features for high containment performances. The second piece that I'm going to show you is a uh, uh, medium rate uh, filling line, so for commercial production, uh, made uh, for filling of dual chamber syringes. Uh, the line uh, is designed to uh, fill a single type of container with two different. Uh, chamber, once, once, one for the powder and one for the, uh, the liquid. 
the syringes <coughs> the syringes are uh, loaded in, in one of the challenges of this uh, of this project of course was uh, uh, the, the transition from uh, the bulk to uh, the, the the tray uh, handling uh, system so the the, uh, the syringes are entering in bulk through a washing through an inline washing machine and a deprogenation tunnel. Then they're entering into a, a powder uh, filling module that uh, have been developed uh, from, from new. And then before entering in a liquid uh, filling modules, they are uh, storage within a, a warehouse with um, an, an automatic loading and unloading of an autoclave in between. At the end of the filling procedures, there's uh, uh, two different modules that are performing the assembly of the pre-filled syringes with the needles and the plungers and uh, labeling and uh, final tray loading. The line is endowed with uh, inline check wagging uh, and uh, uh, washing place and cleaning place uh, with containment performances for the powder part. The third piece that I'm going to show you is a, a beta filling machine for a double container for a combination product with a double container uh, that is in, in this case is made of uh, an integrated vial and bag. Uh, the vials are coming in, in trays. Uh, the vials are pre-filled with the lipolyzed API and the bag instead are loaded in bulk uh, and are loaded in through, through the uh, isolator with, uh, with the bulk packaging. So the challenges of this of these line, of course, was to handle two different type of package with two different type of automatic decontamination system. On the bag side, we were able to uh, use a, a already designed modules with a, a decontamination chamber and automatic sorting system uh, that are singularized bags before the filling of the liquid part. On the, the vial side, we came up with an innovative solution that uh, is called uh, for decontamination that is called a BHP tunnel, where the vial are continuously loaded and decontaminated until they get to the point where they are picked and connected to, to, the, to the EV bags. At the end of the line, the EV bags is sealed uh, after being assembled with the vials. And then in the final, in the final section, there's a variable uh, uh, data printing station and final printing and final labeling. Last uh, cases that I'm going to show you, uh, it's a, a medium rate of filling for a double container uh, combination product. In this case, uh, the container is a flexible container and is made of uh, uh, dual chamber uh, EV bags. So in this particular case, uh, the, uh, the challenges that we faced were, were the the developing of a single system able to filling both powder and liquid in the same line. But at the same time, we were also able to take advantage of several systems that we were already developed in the past and were, coming, were part of our know-how. So all the parts, so the bags, Empty bags are loaded in a, a similar system with a decontamination chamber uh, with, with a VHP with decontamination chamber. Uh, then uh, the, there is a, a sorting station that is a singularized the bags and moving to the uh, filling chamber first, uh, uh, filling it with, with the API, then following by a sealing and then filling off liquid and uh, twist off closing. 
the the line is fully endowed with uh, EPC check weighting and inline leak testing. As uh, I say before, all the all the uh, all the con all the EV bags at the end of the line are fully endowed with a single code that you need those uh, ready to reach uh, the patient for the infusion. So, uh, as inclusion, uh, ready to mix unit dose device uh, handled in a, uh, handled and filled in an aseptic environment offer potential solution to increase product sterility and formulation uniformity, and at the same time uh, are able to reduce uh, logistic and pharmacy operation, and uh, also reduce medical medication error. And uh, all, all these factors, of course, uh, are able to increase uh, patient, service, patient safety and to um, uh, help the technology to get more closer to, to, to the people. Thank you. Pietro, thank you very much for your participation. Um, next, we'd like to move on and introduce Mr. Michael Hennessy from the Process Group. Hello, everybody. Um, Welcome to today's session in terms of Interfax and IPS aseptic tour. Uh, it's a pleasure to be joining you today. And my name is Michael Hennessy. I'm head of global sales uh, for aseptic applications with Process Group. For those who may not be familiar with ourselves, uh, just a little bit of background. Uh, we were established in 1997, so we're 23 years in business uh, this year. We're headquartered in Ireland with a sales and service organization in the US, which is our actual largest market um, by business. In essence, we provide engineered to water rice litters for aseptic processing and for the management of highly potent compounds. And all of the design, manufacture and automation is performed in-house, provide surety over supply chain, delivery and quality of end product to our clients. And the image that you're seeing on your screen at the moment is that of our manufacturing facility in Ireland. So in terms of actually how we support our clients, I think at the very outset, it's by adopting an SME-focused early design engagement with both our clients and also our con um, their consulting engineering um, partners so that we understand the process requirements associated with the project and equally the process flows within the isolator itself. And also, I suppose, in terms of support, being flexible in our approach and proactive in our response. And I just want to explain a little bit about that. In terms of flexible in approach, it's actually being able to and willing to accommodate client requirements, whether they be defined within the URS itself, for example, or even verbalized as part of workshop sessions as part of this early design engagement phase so that the actual finished product is fit for its intended purpose and fulfills their needs. And being proactive in our response means responding to change in client circumstances, whether that be related to the process itself, whether it be related to equipment functionality. And that change, particularly in the current environment, can happen at any time during the actual project execution phase. If it happened during the actual beginning, during the design phase, but equally, it could actually happen later on in the actual project delivery phase as such. And it's, I think it's the, it's, it's the response to that change and how proactive we are that actually sets um, equipment vendors apart in terms of the relationship with their actual clients. A key element for us in terms of the support to our clients is that of delivery lead time. And typical delivery lead time of our systems is circa 10 months. And we know that from a client's perspective, revenue is time dependent and sensitive. So the focus on delivery lead times for ourselves, you know, coupled with extensive pre-delivery testing, for example, to minimize site-based IOQ and cycle development activities, allows for a quicker startup in terms of our clients that then begins the return on investment cycle that they need to engage in. As an organization, um, we're very mindful in terms of the actual importance of our clients' product quality and also regulatory compliance. So from our perspective, 
quality of our equipment, the reliability of our VHP systems, the approach we actually take to equipment integration, for example, material flows, etc., are all there to support our clients in terms of actually ensuring that what we actually produce for them is of the best quality to support their own end user quality as well. Process has a long track record in terms of management of potent compounds, be it in its own right or within an aseptic environment. And we look at that further within the presentation. And what you have at the moment, obviously, is a confluence of those two technologies in terms of you know, containment on one side and also maintaining that aseptic environment on the other side. And actually integrating those two different kind of concepts and approaches to make sure that not only are we actually protecting the product, um, which is the primary concern, but in doing so, we're also protecting the operators as well in, in terms of they performing their activities. And finally, in terms of supporting clients related to the ownership of process integration, there's very few of our isolator systems in, in, in the same way as for the majority of equipment vendors that don't have some form of process integration, whether that we with filling equipment, for example, with incubator centrifuges or such like. The key though is in terms of actually ownership of that integration as such being proactive in terms of actually coordination studies in terms of 3D modeling, for example, um, where you have the end user client, you have the consultant, you have the isolator vendor, for example, and you have all of the other equipment stakeholders working together as a collective to make sure that the finished product, the assembly as such, um, is actually fit for purpose and represents what was intended in the original client URS. Key areas of focus for a process is on small to mid scale, so circa less than 100 units per minute, vial, syringe, and pure fill systems, cell and gene therapy scale up, vaccine seed preparation, formulation powder handling, where required, toxic and aseptic applications associated with that, process equipment integration, and sterility test. So for process, adherence to milestones and a focus on deliverables is critical to overall project success in our view. And this begins in earnest at the initial design stage, where we work closely with our clients to interpret their needs through mock-up studies, for example, and such like. Most importantly, it's about accommodating their needs within the final isolator design layout, which goes forward to production. So all of our design and engineering is actually undertaken in-house. So all of the equipment that we actually produce is customized, is engineered to order in effect. And in terms of design software, it would be that which you would normally be familiar with in terms of AutoCAD, for example, and Solid Edge. And we also operate PLM software within the organization. So from a design and engineering perspective, you're looking at ProCAD and Profile. And the images on the actual screen relate to a sample of mock-up, for example, transferable into a 3D a model general arrangement drawing, which then in turn, um, leads to our actual production as such in this particular case here for a sterility test isolator. I mentioned uh, in a previous slide that revenue is um, time dependent. Um, none more so than in the current environment where there's a lot of pressure in terms of product and marketplace. Process has a well-deserved and a well-established reputation in the marketplace for better than industry performance um, with respect to project execution and delivery. A case in point is a recent ATMP um, filling project um, where we went from design to manufacture to SAT completion in eight months. Um, and again, represented on the slide there is the 3D model as such of the isolator, but also of the actual robotic filler in situ. In the middle section, you have a photograph of the actual isolator itself, but without the actual um, the, the, the filler integrated. And finally, then on the bottom right hand side, you have the SAT team uh, at site in Germany, uh, only recently. And you'll note us obviously in terms of their, um, their gowning as such that we're still involved in the, the COVID scenario. And that same isolator system is shown here. So you can actually see on the two photographs on the right hand side, you can actually see the internal of the filling isolator prior to the actual filler integration itself. And on the bottom right hand side, you can actually see the same isolator. Um, but in this case, 
where it's actually been integrated into the actual filler and we're doing our final assembly tasks before it actually then undergoes IOQ and cycle development as an assembly on the site itself. A second example here is related to vaccine production, specifically related to cryovile filling. In this instance here, um, you'll notice that there are three chambers, uh, but the middle ch main working chamber accommodates three temperature incubators, which are integrated into the back wall of the actual chamber itself. Key criteria here, as laid down by the client's URS, was that those incubator systems needed to be actually gas tight, such that the operators and the actual client could undertake normal operations within the main working chamber, including BHP decontamination, whilst incubating or currently. So in addition to the actual the design and the manufacture of the actual isolator systems themselves, we also took it upon ourselves as well in terms of actually design and the manufacture of the actual incubator systems associated with the project, including, for example, all of the actual temperature mapping, et cetera, so as to conform with the requirements of the client in this case. And again, it's one more example in terms of the flexibility and as I've always, the benefit of actually having a very customized service and being able to actually address challenges like that that the actual client has within their own specifications and needs. Also within this particular project, um, there was cryovile filling. And what you're looking at in the bottom photograph uh, is a sartorius stem uh, fillet cryovile system. And also you will see as well in the bottom right hand corner, you will see the installation and integration within the isolator chambers of both viable and non-viable environmental monitoring systems and also the type of door hinge arrangement that allowed access back into the actual incubators um, from the glove ports on the front of the actual chamber itself. As I mentioned earlier on, Process equipment integration is a key element in terms of the work that we do. Um, and again, we've referenced filling equipment there within the slides, we've referenced incubators, for example, but also centrifuges, freeze dryers, lyos, as you can see from some of the actual photographic examples there as well. Electroporators, peristaltic pump, liquid transfers, for example, waste systems, etc. And obviously, as part of every um, aseptic isolator uh, manufactured by ourselves. Um, there is within it an integrated um, VHP, cross-gen VHP decontamination system. In addition to the aforementioned environmental monitoring. Um, and in that respect, we're open in terms of actually the different type of vendors uh, that we use in terms of environmental monitoring, whether they be preferred by the client or whether the client actually leaves it up to ourselves to decide on what to use. And finally, I'd like to actually thank you for um, listening to the presentation today. I hope you found it of interest and learned a little bit more about process. Uh, if you'd like any further information, if you'd like to talk to us on any matter, you can either contact myself directly or you can contact myself, Mike Janis, who is our technical manager for aseptic applications and his contact details are on this particular site here. Thank you very much for your time. All right, Michael, terrific presentation. Thank you very much. Uh, moving on now, our next speaker is going to be Mr. Les Edwards, Vice President of Technology and Business Development from SCON. Welcome, Les, please begin. All right, thank you, Rob, and we appreciate the introduction. Uh, SCAN is happy again to join the Interfex IPS Technology Tours in 2020. Uh, innovation continues at an incredible pace in the pharmaceutical industry, and isolation technology is evolving right along with it. Uh, today, we're going to share some of our latest innovations and evolutions to address both new products, but also how they're being made. The classic isolators for SCAN projects were aseptic fill finish, as you've seen in the lower left-hand corner of this slide. The focus here has been on protecting the product from contamination, and this was applied mostly to common large-scale products such as vaccine and, and other large-scale biopharmaceuticals. But over the ten, last 10 years, much has changed in both technology of the isolator as well as the nature of their application. Uh, this is ushered in an era of flexible, multi-use isolator systems that can be used for the challenges of small batches, uh, solving novel aseptic handling problems, and protecting operators in addition uh, to the product. 
high OEB level products are needed for containment of potent compounds plus BSL-2 and 3 hazardous biologics and handling of antibody drug conjugates are the most uh, common aseptic and containment challenges facing SCAN today. Cell and gene therapy is also one of those key areas. The size and form of an isolator has evolved too. The classic large-scale isolator system required an HVAC skid and a whole second level of support equipment. While today's modular isolators are much more self-contained, giving a what you see is what you get type of approach. Uh, this is very important for companies who need to develop an entire manufacturing solution in a small lab or clean room area without access to a second level or mezzanine area. Modularity continues to grow too. There's a big need to provide rapidly delivered solutions that combine pre-designed modules to adapt to the client's process. This same modular approach used to be restricted to small lab isolators, but today it's being applied to small and medium-sized manufacturing systems routinely. As with other scan isolator uh, systems, we always fully integrate the hydrogen peroxide decon system. Our rapid scan fog decontamination process has now been accelerated using our latest generation of Nanox Catalyst. Nanox is a nanotechnology-based material that can decompose hydrogen peroxide safely into water vapor and oxygen from levels near 1,000 parts per million to less than 0.1 ppm in a single pass. Now, lab equipment such as CO2 incubators, centrifuges, inverted microscopes, and many other benchtop lab items can now be fully integrated into the aseptic isolator environment. This can truly enhance the quality and safety of the open product handling steps. These process steps, previously performed in biosafety cabinets and open clean rooms, go well beyond aseptic filling. They now include many upstream and downstream operations like thawing, genetic manipulation, such as transduction or transfection, cell expansion, and final product formulation. All of these critical processes some of which were previously open manipulations, can now be performed within the safe and secure environment of an isolator. In clinical and commercial operations, we've adapted scan isolators to be able to perform many of these steps using smaller and larger modular isolator approaches. The diagram here shows multiple steps that can be performed in a single isolator section or a multi-chamber isolator with up to five or more modules. What is particularly attractive about this PSIL isolator system is the flexibility of what SCAN calls the L flange. And this is uh, where the rear wall and the floor of the isolator make up an L-shaped section that can be customized with a simple or even very complex aseptic process. It can be easily removed and exchanged for another L flange with a very different process. This allows you to isolate upstream and downstream processes with incubators and centrifuges, and then use that same isolator later, perhaps for an aseptic filling operation. In aseptic filling, customers can use these isolators to fill vials one day, and then with a simple 20 minute changeover, plus the decon time, they're able to start filling nested syringes the same or even the next day. So these L flange concepts can be applied to any aseptic operation, not just aseptic filling. As your needs grow, you can grow too. Your isolator can be modified and expanded by adding a new module or more. Of course, any one of these modules can be repurposed simply by sw swapping out and adding a new L flange. One of the most successful products has been our various modular isolators. This is a joint product line with Bausch and Strobel, GEA, and Harrow Hofliger, as well as SCAN. And this was the winner of the Biotech Innovation Award in 2016 at Interfix. Now, our new generation of ScanFOC technology is available in the PSIL version 2.0. This new system has the same L flange flexibility, but now it includes the rapid performance of the ScanFOC Decon and Nanox Catalyst technologies. Another successful application has been with a partnership with Aseptic Technologies and their robotic L1 vial filler. Aseptic Technologies, for those of you who don't know, it's a scan company, and it's been an innovator in closed vial filling. 
This is uh, utilizing a unique COC copolymer vial that maintains container closure uh, integrity even at negative 190C, so liquid nitrogen level temperatures. This is vitally important for cryogenically stored cell and gene therapy products where container closure integrity is critical. Now we fully integrated their manual and robotic villing equipment into scan isolators, also with the available uh, scan fog and nanox features. Although this PSIL is very popular for aseptic filling and cell therapy process, SCAN has launched a new PSI CG product line, CG standing for cell and gene, directly specific, specified to the mid-range cell and gene therapy processes where integrated incubators, centrifuges, and other lab equipment can be easily combined with a manually aseptic processing step. So our focus here is to remain flexible but to utilize modular design and modular equipment interfaces to allow for a quicker delivery. Our customers must deploy this technology rapidly and reliably, and the PSI CG is focused directly at that goal. Finally, we wanted to revisit last year's ScanFog Spectra. This was Interfex 2019's Best in Show Innovation Award winner. And this system has caught fire with extremely short cycle times, only 10 to 20 minutes in that rapid airlock and 30 to 60 minutes in the entire main chamber. It's not only being used for efficient sterility testing, but has now become popular for cell culture and gene therapy operations where quick cycles are needed for uh, a standard envelope. So thank you for sharing your time with us. If there are any questions, feel free to reach out to me or any of our team here at SCAN. Here in North America, we have a large and growing team of service, parts, and microbiological expertise based in Raleigh, North Carolina. And SCAN US customers can get access to our 24 seven emergency hotline where you can speak to a US-based SCAN Academy certified technician night or day to keep your isolator system up and running. Thank you again and have a great day. Les, thank you very much for a fantastic presentation. Next up today, we have Mr. James Drinkwater, Head of Aseptic Processing Technologies and GMP Compliance for Franz Seal. Take it away, please, James. Hello, everybody. Um, pleased to join this uh, aseptic virtual tour from Interfex. And this presentation will be um, an explanation, really, of a current trend that we're seeing in Franz Seal. So Franzil are the largest isolator wraps manufacturing company in clean room technologies in Germany. I'm based in the UK myself, but I support the German and Charlotte based uh, facility in the US. This um, presentation will be set around a case study to show a trend that we're seeing of basically what we can confirm is intensified platforms. Intensified platforms are processes that are integrated into more steps under really um, the umbrella of um, containment systems, isolator systems, RAB systems, all on one platform. This particular presentation will focus on um, a case study for Oxabiomedica. This is an ATMP, it's filling a viral vector, a lentivirus. Um, it's a part of a, a CAR T cell cancer therapy, uh, a Novartis product. And essentially, the viral vector is filled into vials. But the interesting um, thoughts and processes that was developed when we looked at this platform, the intensification really was to join formulation and filling onto the same platform, not the drug substance area or the vector substance where all the incubation and, and uh, culturing of the cells, but the stage where it comes into pooling into actually concentrating the product into a bulk that can be filled. That formulation step was integrated into the same platform as filling. And the reasons for that, the drivers for that, were really because there was a very tight four to threes window. When the product is fraud um, from a, that frozen state into a, a process that you can fill it, before it's visually inspected and frozen again, there's a process window that you have to complete. So efficient process steps, all integrated together, reducing the challenge of um, having to decontaminate between one sort of area change to another because everything's on the same platform. The project is under the sort of umbrella of the term Oxbox. It's in Oxford, which is uh, in the UK, 
and it's basically a facility, one of six facilities they have, Oxford Biomedica. There's a new build, took an empty warehouse space, uh, space and they built into a whole series of clean rooms to support primarily the vector substance production, but also a whole series of fill finish suites. What I'm showing here is one of the fill finish suites and basically it's showing the line installed into that. This is one of two at the moment, but like many of the ATMPs, it's all about scale out, not scale up. So this is a platform that's been developed to scale up, just repeat this clean room design with its self-contained facility and repeat it to add more production capacity. On this particular line, we have um, formulation, which is essentially pooling, taking uh, bottles of the vector and pooling them together into a bag. Then there's a, a pupsit, a, a sort of a, a filtration stage, which then goes through into the next uh, concentration part of the formulation. The concentration is really about um, hollow filter fiber filtration and then various uh, retentates and concentrates are separated and the, the product at the right concentration is into a, a single use bag. This project, like many in the ATMP communities, is virtually based on no sterilization on site. So here we're using single use systems, we're using ready to use vials pre-sterilized in container tubs, uh, ready to use, using a process called no-touch transfer, double debagging, two steps to pass the um, containers into the grade A filling area without a decontamination step midway. The center of all of that is a rapid decon hatch. So this is one of the rapid v VHP decons, and that has dual purpose. It's for entering materials in, and classically, all materials that go in have to be um, protected from VHP exposure. So packaging, anything like this, is protected from VHP exposure by choosing an impermeable packaging, and that's qualified to be impermeable. And all the single-use systems, they're set up and hung up in the VHP cycle before the process starts. So the no single use system bag tubing gets exposed to VHP, then it's open, then it's assembled, and that part of it's ready to go. To visualize the line, we have the formulation in two sections. As I mentioned, we have the pooling and concentration isolators, then we have the rapid decon, and then we have the filling section. The filling of the vials in this particular case uses a Flexicon FPC 60 filling machine. This was particularly selected over a nest filler because it gave 100% IPC and that was critical for this particular product. Also, there was a necessity to have a viral clearance on the outside of the vials and that happens in the, re the decon hatch as well. I'll show you some images of that. Also, Flexicon have developed NTT, no touch transfer, De or semi-automatic debagging machines that basically remove the packaging, push the contents without contact in through a mouse hole, which has been characterized with airflow protection. So there's no surface or no um, sort of airborne contamination transfer. That's qualified through an intense series of studies. The manufacturers of the vials and containers now have stepped up to the game and there's studies, microbiological challenge studies, to confirm that the outside of those tubs is sterile at manufacture and controlled through the supply chain. And that data is now available. Looking at the line itself, we've used Smart LED, which is a, a nice feature to really inform the status as you're looking at this line without having to roll up to the HMI to see what. So at various stages through the VHP cycle, through aeration, it's a critical alarm, not just of the system, but even locality, then the LED lights inform you what's going on. A neat little feature. The one exception 
of no sterilization on site was a requirement that was set out for indirect product contact parts. Although this particular filler has very limited uh, change parts because they're all automatically adjusted by a program, so you can select and it, there's height adjustments and, uh, and rail adjustments for different bio sizes, a neat feature. The stopper bowls have to be sterilized out of place. That's a regulatory expectation. And then assembled into place and then the VHP cycle and you're good to go. That sterilization is actually done with dry heat. They didn't want to purchase an autoclave and have all the hassle of going through that qualification. And that's there was done. The rail you see that's going down on the, the right hand top side of this line is bringing from the formulation the bulk solution very close to the point of fill. So there's minimum product loss, and that's a particular feature. What you're seeing also at the end of this is a walking beam feed on with IPC, which is 100%. At the end of the walking beam, the SCARA robot picks up the vial and places it into a a point contact racking system to separate the vial surfaces to allow complete VHP exposure. So the, the, the whole series of racks are loaded up, placed in the VHP chamber and decontaminated and taken through safely to visual inspection. The two half batches are done, not to overburden visual inspection. So basically when you filled half the batch, that's VHP out. The, the empty chamber is VHP waiting for the second batch while you're still filling, and then the process is, is continued. Essentially, this process is gloveless operations. There's a lot of talk about gloveless cells and whatever, but we found a good compromise between having automation, so there's no um, EM interventions, there's automation when the line is, is completely running, you don't need to inter but you do need the gloves for setup. You do need to be able to make correct uh, a cap that's squashed or something just to clear that without opening the doors and losing the batch. So some interventions through gloves can be qualified for media fills, but basically gloveless operations is, is the order of the day. So this particular line um, that, that we provided for, for Oxford Biomedica, is now through the uh, installation period. We actually did a, a virtual FAT, which is the first of its kind for us because of the COVID situation. And this worked very successfully, innovative ways to move the projects forward. Zeal have uh, integrated, uh, we have analytical chemistry lab, we have microbiological lab in Germany. So all the support to the biocompatibility of VHP against the the, the virus product itself, which is, um, is, is sensitive to VHP, but it's also the VHP is very good at decontaminating and clearing that at the end. That provides a complete uh, solution. So thank you very much for listening. It's a very interesting pro project. We see the, the future of intensified platforms growing. We're now considering the intensification of IV bag filling as well. All of these elements were joined together to suit this uh, ATMP community uh, for the future. Thank you very much indeed. All right, James, thank you. Another terrific presentation. And finally, last but not least today, I would like to hear from Joe Hoff, Chairman and CEO of AST. Roy, thank you. And I'm happy to be a part of the Interfax virtual IPS uh, tour uh, today, uh, representing AST. Uh, providing a little bit of background on AST, uh, we, we were founded in 1965, so over 50 years of uh, service. Uh, we've been serving the pharmaceutical industry since uh, 2004 now, so over 15 years to pharmaceuticals. And uh, we're happy to say uh, in 2010, AST delivered the, the first robotic uh, multi-format uh, flexible filling line uh, in the industry. And that is the machine that is shown on the bottom left-hand corner uh, of your of your screen. Uh, in terms of uh, technology, um, the, ten years later, we we look at a very different machine than we did back then. Uh, but that machine was designed to fill vials, <clears throat> uh, syringes, 
uh, cartridges and infusion bags uh, all on one line. Today, uh, we are, our, our customers range from early stage drug development companies to the largest pharmaceuticals uh, in the world, uh, processing a wide variety of products, uh, including high value biologics, cell and gene therapies, as well as personalized uh, drug medicines. Uh, each of our lines uh, offer um, both flexibility and extremely high yield uh, outputs. Our, uh, our product families in include uh, four different uh, lines uh, today. Um, each of these uh, lines provide for aseptic fill finish needs uh, for our customers. Uh, we, we start on the, on the left-hand side with our, our Genesis Lab uh, product line and, and work through the Genesis C, the Genesis R, and into the Aseptacell. Uh, these are each targeted uh, towards, uh, you know, whether it's product uh, development or clinical filling uh, or, or commercial filling. And one of our strong benefits is the streamlined tech transfer between each of our uh, product platforms as our customers' needs uh, grow. <clears throat> each of our product families uh, are, are designed to fill vials, syringes, and cartridges in ready-to-use uh, formats. Uh, we work with all manufacturers of ready-to-use formats uh, today. And for vials, we can process both uh, crimp cap as well as uh, press fit cap. So we offer a wide variety of flexibility to uh, each of our customers across all of our product lines. And all of this is accomplished through uh, a limited number of change parts uh, on, our, on our lines. <clears throat> Some key technologies that uh, cross all of AST's product lines include uh, one high yield dosing with uh, rotary piston pumps, with peristaltic pumps, uh, or time pressure. And each of our lines offers the option for integrated IPC. And that IPC is user programmable from zero to a uh, hundred percent of the of the formats running through the line. We also offer a very uh, uh, innovative uh, HMI that provides uh, for ease of use of the line. And whether you're running a, a Genesis lab or all the way up to the AST, a septa cell, uh, an, an operator that has familiarity with one of our lines will have uh, a lot of familiarity with, with across all of our product lines uh, in terms of ease of use. Uh, from an innovative stop ring standpoint, we can close uh, syringes and, and cartridges with vacuum, with vent tube, or a, a patented combination of vent tube vacuum uh, tooling uh, system that we have. Each of our lines are offered with uh, full uh, GAMP documentation uh, to support uh, to support your your needs uh, for IQ OQ as well as functional on the hardware and software. And then uh, each of the lines is available with optional fully integrated environmental monitoring uh, that begins with the lab units uh, all the way up through the septa cell. Uh, the labs it's integrated into an LAF or biosafety cabinet or even an isolator. Um, and, then, and then each of the lines is available with uh, fully integrated electronic batch records. And, and, and there we're, we're not just integrating the, the batch records of the, of the filling process itself, but, but also the barrier system is fully integrated into one batch record system. We also offer a fully integrated barrier solution through a number of uh, partners that we work with um, to provide a, a again, it's a, a, it's a customized and, and, and fully integrated solution. Um, each of our lines can be incorporated inside of isolators 
or active ORABs or passive RABs. And then uh, our lab units uh, can also be uh, incorporated into a biosafety cabinet as we show on, on the right-hand side here uh, or, or put under uh, LAF hoods. Taking a closer look at each of our product lines, uh, beginning with our, our Genesis lab <clears throat> family, this, this line of products, uh, it is, it's a manually loaded system, so one unit uh, or possibly two units uh, at a time uh, across three different machines. So container filling can fill and close uh, vials and fill uh, syringes. It can also uh, apply a press fit cap. So if you're using a press fit capping solution, uh, the container filling system would fill, close, and stopper uh, or stopper and close uh, vials. For crimp cap, we offer the VSS, the vial sealing system. And for syringes and cartridges, we offer the container closing system that allows you to do um, vent tube a vacuum or combination vent tube vacuum uh, closing on your line. Uh, we can also provide uh, inert gas. <clears throat> Um, for, for low oxygen headspace or, or, or any controlled headspace. And, and the CFS uh, is, is available with uh, integrated uh, IPC as well. Um, so it's a very, uh, it's a very um, compact, yet incredibly capable uh, line of products. Uh, designed for not just processing and, and capability, but also for ergonomics. Uh, so for uh, ease of use with the operator, as well as the uh, insurance of good aseptic techniques as you're processing your product through uh, this line. So we've got customers using uh, lines like this, uh, not just for drug development, but for clinical applications and even commercial uh, small volume commercial filling applications as well. Next is our Genesis C uh, filling line. This line uh, is, is a you have automatic or manual bag opening, uh, manual tub opening, and then you manually transfer a tub uh, from or, or manually transfer a nest from the tub into the centering plate. And then from there, it's automatic filling and closing of uh, your tub of, of, of your nest of vials, syringes, or cartridges. We can also process custom formats, so formats that are not available and are ready to use um, packaging uh, can also be processed through a, a custom nest. And, and we show that in the bottom left picture here where we've got a, a, a Gersheimer 50 ml vial uh, packaged in a, in a custom nest for automatic filling and closing. Uh, this line also offers fully integrated uh, IPC that's user programmable from zero to 100%. Uh, fully integrated environmental, uh, the pictures on the, on the top left as well as the, the right show um, IPC layout as well as integrated I, um, environmental. And then pumping app, pumping uh, configurations can be peristaltic, uh, rotary piston, uh, one or two pumps uh, are available uh, each on, on this line or a combination. The bottom left-hand picture shows a, a setup with a peristaltic pump in front, a rotary piston pump in back. And then uh, time pressure is available and uh, a wide variety of alternate pumping applications is, is available as well, depending on the, the characteristics and, and viscosities of, of your drug product. Uh, all of this is available in a very compact design. So this machine is designed to fit under a standard LAF or AST offers a variety of uh, customized uh, LAFs that give you a larger work area in a, in a, in a aseptic uh, process flow for bag opening, tub opening, uh, nest processing, and, and, then, and then if it's vials, uh, vial sealing. 
And here we have a, a, a couple of different options for vial sealing. Uh, we, can, we can make this machine with one of our lab VSSs for um, manually processing one vial at a time for, for capping. Or we can uh, attach it with one of our Genesis VSM20s where you would move the nest for, for, for crimp capping onto the BSM-20 and you would cap an entire nest at a time. Or if you are using press fit caps, uh, the mach this, this machine as, it, as it's shown can, can handle and process press fit caps. And finally, we have our robotic lines, uh, both our Genesis R and our Acepta cell. So the Genesis R is a 20 unit per minute line. The Acepta cell is, is either a 100 unit per minute line or two nests per minute, depending on your nest density. Um, each of these lines is a, is a highly configurable and modular uh, system. Um, so on the Genesis R, side we we offer semi-automatic or fully automatic bag opening uh, manual tub opening uh, or fully automatic tub opening uh, and then and then the fill close module is fully automatic with uh, robotic um, or conveyor driven uh, tub handling and then robotic handling of the nest robotic filling and closing and then transfer uh, for bile sealing. Uh, this line can also be in court, uh, integrated with a with a lifelizer as well that can be uh, fully automatic loading, unloading, uh, or manual or semi-manual uh, loading and unloading. And then there's the Acepta cell. Again, that's 100 units per minute or two nests per minute. Uh, that, that's configured with automatic bag opening, automatic tub opening, filling and closing, bio sealing, and then uh, lipolyzer integration as well. Uh, these lines as well come with a fully integrated environmental uh, IPC uh, from zero to 100%. Uh, again, user programmable as well, and then fully integrated uh, to uh, either an isolator uh, or typically an active O-RABS, uh, less frequently uh, a passive RABS as well uh, for, for these lines. And these are typically used for uh, mid to late stage clinical and commercial applications. As we wrap up, I, I just uh, like to highlight a, a couple of uh, reasons why customers work with AST. One of them, one of them is, is our forward thinking and, and product innovation. Uh, again, the first to, to offer a, a multi-format flexible robotic filling line. Uh, secondly, flexibility. You know, we work with uh, we work with our customers for the best uh, solution. We have a, a, a wide range of product families to, to meet those requirements. Um, uh, competitive lead times, we offer highly competitive lead times uh, across all of our products. Our, our designs are our, our in-house manufacturing, assembly, panel building um, is, is all uh, in-house. Our software development is, is, is again written uh, by our own in-house team. And then just a, a tremendous amount of responsiveness uh, to our customers. And so I'd like to close by just thanking you for your time and, and uh, would like to ask you uh, for any additional inquiries, please reach out to uh, either one of our business development uh, folks, uh, depending on what region of the world you're in and or our, our sales at ast-inc.com uh, page. Thank you very much. All right, Joe, thank you very much as well for another great presentation. IPS and NFX would like to thank all of our aseptic suppliers for your contributions to this virtual tour and sharing your company and product information. We appreciate all of you that have virtually attended this tour today as well. 
To contact any suppliers you heard from today, please go to www.interfex.com. Have a great day. Thank you.